and welcome to another edition of Shine Dubai, our series dedicated to highlighting inspirational and empowering women in the community. Today's guest, Naila Alkadja, is the trailblazing female face of filmmaking in the region. Known for addressing social issues through the medium of film, she's also one of the pioneers of the Emirati film industry. So Naila, such a pleasure to have you with us today. It's always lovely seeing you, Zoe. You are actually <laughs> A celebrity, because every year we <laughs> come to the film sorry. festival and you're there. Well, that's so, true. Um, I am a big fan of the film festival. So, Naila, you're one of the original pioneers of Emirati filmmaking, especially as a woman. That makes me feel really old, right? I yeah. know, and you're so not, which is what's so wonderful. And um, that's <coughs> where your original passion came from, for filmmaking and telling stories. Uh, from very young ages, I'm sure everything does develop from a very young age. My passion of storytelling is pretty much in line with my my culture here because we come from a storytelling um, history you know we are poets we we were, we're not really visual people we're more like storytellers yeah. but obviously with the video uh, with the medium of film you're able to tell so much through a uh, cinema and, and through the visual medium where you know obviously as cliche as it sounds it does break down la you know the language barrier Absolutely. and it's a window to tap into an access cultures that you might not have an accurate picture of so I'm very much motivated by telling the story of my people to the outside world. Mm -hmm. Now, some of your films have been quite hard hitting and they've tackled, you know, quite strong subject yeah. matter. How important is it for filmmakers to have a strong social conscience? I, I think it's really important to be um, honest with oneself, to be true to yourself and just do a story that you have some sort of connection with, because mm -hmm. then your real voice will come out. Yeah. Now people ask me, like, oh, you, you're doing a lot of controversial film, is it just to grab attention? Um, it's not to grab attention, it's just that these stories happen here every day, and I'm very passionate about them, and they are very serious social cases. Yeah. To bring awareness to subjects exactly. that are a little bit, maybe taboo, sensitive. some people, sensitive, yes. exactly. To bring attention to topics that a lot of, especially women, feel that they need to voice themselves, but mm. don't, or never have really done it in a cinematic way, so to right. speak. You know, people are afraid of cinema. It's a very yeah. when you put a film on a big silver screen, it can be very daunting. It's strong. It's very strong. Yeah. It, you know, as you say, picture says a thousand words. Yeah. So um, yeah. Tell me, what kind of universal themes would you personally like to see more of in filmmaking? Um, I would like to see. I mean, this is a very strange one. You don't see enough films about the relationship of children and their parents, you know, um, or old age. They're probably not a big market for them, um, not to bore you, but even like uh, films from the UAE that are from our history and our culture mm. that kind of explains how our beginning was. Yeah. I'm talking about pre-oil era, right. you know, where you had just the raw land and raw people and the simplicity and the beauty of Arabia back yeah. then. Now I know you've got a lot of projects going on. Tell us about your involvement with DIFF this year and the Samsung Short Film Festival. Yeah, so my involvement with DIFF is on different levels. The biggest thing and the most proud, like we're very, very proud that we've been a partner with the Dubai International Film Festival for the last eight years. They have been absolutely instrumental yeah. um, in supporting the Scene Club, which is a non-for-profit independent film club. You know, it has 10,700 members. We started with 50. And it's only because of DIFF's support. Yeah. The other thing is the Samsung um, participation where we had eight students uh, or candidates, uh, so to speak, and they had to use these uh, Note 5 to film five-minute films using the phone. And so I kind of mentored them, gave them a workshop, and the results came in. I'm really impressed, you know. And finally, um, how, how empowering do you think film is for women? In terms of being a filmmaker and in terms of being an audience as well. Well, this is a very good um, and a very important question because just to go back to the Samsung, um, you know, workshop that we yeah. did, we, I had one girl amongst the whole team. And that's very true and reflective of the global scene, not just the yeah. United Arab Emirates. Women take up to six to nine percent, now they're saying nine, I don't know, um, of all filmmakers. That's such a, it's such a minor, minor participation. So it is really important that women get together, they empower themselves um, against this very male-dominated yeah. Domain and by the way, the winner who wins at Samsung is going to Cannes Film Festival. Amazing! So that's really exciting as Super well. Super exciting. Naila, thank you so much for being with us today. Always thank you. a pleasure, Zoe. Thank Always you. a pleasure. Thank you very much.
Now, it's been such a pleasure to watch and document Naylor's achievements over the last decade, really creating a path for female filmmakers in the region. If you'd like to nominate a woman who is positively influencing society, please do get in touch with us. You can contact us at news at city7tv.com. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.